how you doing? It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm going to have to make this quite quick because my phone's actually nearly out of battery. I've been um, clearing out my animals all afternoon, so I'm currently all covered in sweat and manky. But I want to make a real quick video. I'd actually planned on making a video yesterday, but I was so tired from work, I pretty much slept all day. But yeah, so I'm back on track a bit today. I want to make a real quick video just to get something up. I just wanted to again show off the um the set and um, set and the con to see how we're doing. Yeah, so I gotta try and rush a little bit because I'm pretty sure I'm about to run out of phone battery. <laughs> Could have planned this a bit better, really, never mind. Uh, yeah, so it's um since whatever day it was I did the last video, it has actually swollen up quite a bit more. It was literally like the next day it started to swell up. Um, noticeably more and so it's been uncomfortable for several days now I think today it's now starting to feel a little bit better but before where is that's the reason I get such long I have such long jewelry made for my conscious just because of how much it swells up like this one perfectly fine at the moment it literally perhaps takes up about a third of the wearable area but when they swell up especially when they swell up bad I have had them swell up bigger than the entire length of the jewellery, even with these long wearable areas. But this one at the moment, it's not quite, I have no idea what you can see, it's not quite all the way to the end, but I certainly wouldn't want to risk having any shorter jewellery, just because it's crazy how much I do swell up. I say, it does feel a lot better today than it has done the last few days. So make a noise there. But it's still, um, I don't particularly like touching it too much that has, and it's now starting to get the little crusties around it. That that happens every time I stretch my conches. Because it doesn't seem to matter how long I leave it, or how small stretches I do, it seems to happen every time. It's just something I have to get used to. But it just gets a little ever so slightly crusty and, and pussy. But again, just I can just wipe them off. I'll do salt soaks and wipe them off. And that almost right away actually makes them feel a lot better. But yeah, so that's um, it's it's getting there. It's like I said, I think today is over the worst of it, and it should fingers crossed. Mind you, I haven't worn my plugs yet today. That's one. Like I said, that is one thing that does make a big difference. Just having the jewelry out actually makes them feel a lot better, because obviously when I'm normally wearing the jewelry, tugging and jingling and shaking about and whatnot. I don't know what the hell that is. There's something weird making a noise out there. <laughs> But yeah, like I say, when, I'm, when I have my big um, big pieces of jewellery in, the tugging and the jiggling does put a little bit of extra stress on this, and it doesn't feel particularly nice. So that's part of the reason I haven't actually put anything in yet today. But I will put something in later just because I don't want them to start shrinking down again, because they're so very fresh at this, still, at this um, bigger size still. I don't want to go back on myself room. And like I say, these are not too bad. Well, the, the, the conch isn't too bad at the moment. It's... um. I say normally after a few days I can tell if it's going to be a, an unsuccessful attempt at stretching it. Like it'll swell up a lot very very quickly and the discomfort, it, it feels different. I don't really know exactly how to explain it, explain it, but it just feels different. But yeah, it's really not, well, it's not pleasant but it's not as bad as, I've, as other stretches I've had. So I'm confident that this one will be... Um, I'm confident this one will be fine, which is good. It'll finally be even, and then I'll look at stretching them up to 17 probably later this year. I'll probably wait until, definitely until all the festivals and whatnot are over. I mean, now that's only, I think I'm only two months away from the festivals, that'd be way too soon to stretch this, this one at least, before then anyway. I'll probably, what I'll do, I'll probably stretch this one first, and then this one a month or two later, just so I can actually sleep on one side. It's definitely unpleasant trying to sleep on the side of the with a freshly stretched conch. It's not not very pleasant at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll probably probably leave it until a little bit further towards the end of the year, probably even at least to stretch this one. I might get this one done. I probably I might even wait until after the um, my next tattoo. It's actually been pushed back a bit. I'm not entirely sure why, but Anna Anna was down in the studio a couple of days ago. And um, she spoke to someone, I don't know if she actually spoke to Sam the tattooist or just one of the other people there, 
but she spoke to someone and for some reason it's had to be pushed back a couple of weeks. It's still in September, it's just the very end of September now if I remember writing. Something like Saturday the 27th or something. Something like that, I'm not entirely sure. So it's not too far back, it's not like it's months and months back. But yeah, I'll probably wait until after then to actually give this one a stretch. I think that's what I'll do. The last thing I need to be doing is fighting off um, a painful con stretch <laughs> while getting tattooed. But yeah, literally all that will be is more black. That's that's it. all the plan is for the time being. So I'll definitely be making my arms pretty much solid black and probably my chest solid black as well. And I've got a few other little ideas of where to go from there. But that's probably, that's the initial focus just to get that done, I think. And I will, yeah, I'll talk to Sam a little bit more definitively about it further in the future. But yeah, what month are we in now? We're now in May. So yeah, that's literally only four months away, so that's not bad at all. <laughs> right now I'm uh, trying to think if there's anything else worth bringing up right now. I don't think there is. I'll call it there for now because I have no idea how much phone battery I have left. Like I say, I had planned on doing basically this video yesterday and then a slightly longer video sort of today. But uh, yeah, I've kind of run out of time from doing housework and sorting out my animals. I've cleaned out six animal cages today and they're big cages. So I'm, yeah, I'm sweaty and sticky and just thought I'd have a two minute break just to do this. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, I don't quite know when I'll get another chance to do another another quick video. Hopefully in a day or two's time, and I'll do a um, slightly longer video. But yeah, speak to you all soon, and yeah, hope everyone's alright. Bye for now, try.